Hey, how you doing? This is Trader Joe's. I'm just, uh, I'm out here again with Charlie. Um, I got them all bundled up because it's starting to get a little nippy out here. And uh, I've been house-sitting at my douchebag brother-in-law's house for a few weeks. And um, I got to take advantage of his abundance of uh, foliage out here while he's gone. And I figured what I would do is there's a tree over here. This is not that big of a tree. I, I don't know if anybody could recognize that kind of leaf that's on there. Let me know what that is sycamore or something like that or oak whatever the hell all right uh it's got this like shorter sapling coming up the side and that little piece there right around here is about the size of my thumb all right and the other the side here is uh you know it's about the size of my forearm or yeah well bigger than my forearm um so i figured i would try to just cut that thing off and See how it goes. All right, so uh, I'm going to be using the um, a combination of the uh, original hiker knife that I got from Kylie that he had convex for me, and then um, I put the uh, uh, ketchup patina from McDonald's on here to make it dark looking. And uh, oops, it doesn't really, uh, it, I've not had any rust issues with it or anything, and it uh, seems and it holds a very nice edge. And then, um, and then I'll also use the uh, the CKC1 prototype knife, test knife that he, he had made for himself uh, to use, that I bought from him. Uh, and I tell you, this 01 steel, it holds a very, very nice edge. It gets very easily sharpened. I mean, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with it. I mean, I've never had a knife that gets as sharp as this knife is. Um, it's including my Zula, you know, and everything. Actually, the Zula I cannot get as sharp as this. This is, you know, far and away much more sharp than that Azula. And I'm sure that uh, with its construction the way it is, that it could probably, you know, beat the piss out of the Azula for uh, survival in, in that sense. You know, it's a small knife. You know, they're both small, this and the Azula. Actually, I still have the Azula here. I got a lot of fucking knives on here right now. Let's see. Can you tell I'm Italian? All right, so here's the Azula next to the... CKC one, and then actually, let me see if I can do a little three. So you see, the blades are not that dissimilar in, t in terms of size, but obviously the thickness changes drastically. Uh, the thinnest of all these blades is the original Hiker on the bottom here, and then the next thicker, next thinner one is the um, CKC one, and then uh, this is a little thicker, just slightly, not that much. So, but I'm not going to be using the Azula. I'm going to be using the uh, Hiker and the One. So, without further ado, I'm going to try to get my fat ass in the frame here and cut this shit. So, it's probably going to be pretty easy. So, I'm going to try, first I'll try it with the, the, uh, the Hiker from a higher up angle. And see how that goes. Alright. Let me just stick this in the tree for a second. Get this thing looks. Do we even have it in the frame? No. Zoom it up a little bit. Oh, pull the wrong thing. Can I zoom in on that, motherfucker? I may have to move the camera again. Sorry for my photography here. I suck ass at this shit. Alright. Right, so that's where the... I'm going to have to come down a little bit. Alright. Okay. A little blurry. I don't know why it's blurry now all of a sudden. Actually, I hate this shit. Okay. So you know, this is the third time I'm trying to do this shot, and the, the, the previous times the camera just tilted back as I was walking over there. All right. Another about a couple inches. All right. So here's the um, original hiker, and I just cut into it. I 
I get a feel of how it cuts into live wood. You get a lot of control with the size knife blade. You know, it's good for making tent pegs, using fire steel, and, you know, kitchen duty. Actually, I use this knife primarily when I'm not house-sitting my douchebag brother-in-law's house. I, uh, I, um, I use this in my kitchen a lot. Just have it next to my sink, and then whenever I'm preparing food and stuff like that, I use it to cut vegetables, meats, things like that. I'm just kind of like making like feather sticks, kind of carvings into it as I go. And then I'm going to use the CKC-1 a little further down, you know. And basically I'm using the, the convex portion of the blade to round out this, this little uh, hollow I'm making here. I'm carving, carving very thin slivers of wood. It's like a thinness of a piece of paper. I mean, I could do this faster. Yeah, you know, I just figured why not do it nice. You know, the size of a blade also has portability options that are important to consider when you're going to buy a knife. But of course, you know, now, these are not really readily available anymore, unless you're buying them used from somebody. Alright, so I cut through it, and just get this part out. I can see clearly now. Let's see. Alright. Now, I'm going to use the one. I want to see if that's in focus still. All right. Come up around over here. All right. Same type of a deal. Shut up. Same thing. I'm just carving, you know, car carving out little thin slivers of wood. What this actually proves, I don't know. But they're both very nice to have for that purpose, for making thin cuts and things. Um, that's my brother. I'm telling the show off. You notice that you try to make a video and someone calls you out of the blue? Your dog barks. Always. It never, never ceases to amaze me. And like before, like I said, I could easily do this much faster. I just figured, you know, why not, while I'm here, just do a nice, gentle, slow job at it. You know, the, the way the wood is, is peeling away, it looks almost like furniture, you know, like it's nice and grained and, you know, smooth. Of course, with my blurry camera, you probably can't even tell, unless I take it off and bring it over to the camera, which I probably am going to do. You can see in the rings of the trees. Let's just see. Let's see. Is this in focus? Alright. Okay. Now the convex makes a nice little, uh, nice smooth cuts. See? Shaving that bark down. 
see it very easily. You could sharpen this like a pencil, you know, if you want to make a ten peg out of it. You know, and you could use it for very detailed work if you want. Try to get that sh pretty uh, neat there. Okay. That's why if you want to make a spoon or some shit with it, you know. I could murder someone with that. Okay, so that nah, it's very sharp. All right, well, I guess that's it for me. But you know, pretty goes, and um. You know, I'm waiting on a uh, knife order. I, I ordered two knives from Tylee. I ordered a um, the uh, D2 version of the uh, CKC1, like this. Where is it? What the hell? How come it's not coming up in the camera? Okay. I ordered the uh, D2 version of this one. I also ordered the uh, D2 version of the 2.0 or 1 or whatever they call it. And, um, you know, I'm waiting for those to come. And once they come, I'll do some more reviews on them just to see how it handles, you know, the... Um, he says it's a lot more abrasion resistant. So I imagine, you know, being abrasion resistant, you know, cutting wood and things like that would be, a, you know, a bit of an abrasion to the metal. So hopefully it should sh hold its edge longer. And, um, you know, not that I mind dropping and stuff like that, it's, it's actually pretty enjoyable. And, um, you know, so this is, this is the yard here. See this Charlie again. And, you know, we got the, the fall coming up here, so it's very nice. Um, how many minutes? 12 minutes here, okay. Let's see, I also have like a chicken coop over here. Chickens and gigantic rabbits not my house, so what the hell, I'm going to film somebody else's stuff, so since we're baby, uh, house sitting in this place, we're going to just, uh, you know, take care of all these, all this stuff while he's away, so here's, take this pond over here, there's some koi in there, if you can see any, And then over here we have a place where the gigantic rats, uh, not rats, rabbits are. There's any in there. Now these are, this rabbit here, these rabbits are uh, Flemish giants. Look at the size of his mother. They're huge. Alright, they're big. You know, it's a big rabbit. See the size of it? Look at that. Alright, so these are the Flemish Giants. And if you're, if you're wondering what they're going to do with these rabbits, you know, they're going to end up in an oven. So, the Portuguese for you. And then here's where the chickens are stored, kept. Let's see if I can find one. There's one. There's a couple of them over here. There you go. Oh. Girl, a good girl. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can see this. Want to go back in? Ah, 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 ah. Shut. Shut your yapper. Okay. So, this is a chicken. All right. Hey, chicken. All right. Let's put it in. All right. Buck, 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 buck. All right. Who would have thunk it in New York? You got shit like this. We keep them in this uh, caged in area because there's raccoons and shit. Trying to kill them all the time. And also, there's uh, opossums. They like to eat these kind of things too. I never would have thought it, but they, it was uh, an opossum broke in one time and it chewed off the top of one of the Flemish giant's heads and killed it. It's quite startling for my wife to 